hey beautiful people welcome back to the channel this is business connect my name is roy if this is your first time joining us on the channel here we do videos about life in china international students how foreigners survive in china i just share my experience as a foreigner living here in china so if you're interested in such content please don't leave the video without smashing that subscription button so that each time we do videos like this youtube will notify you and you'll be the first to watch our videos so today's video will still be about the return of international students to china recently a few universities have started sending emails to students reminding them to get prepared because they will be coming back to china very soon but the most unfortunate thing is that not all students will return at the same time they're going to prioritize students who are doing research students who are about to graduate, students who have lab work, and so on. So, these universities that have actually sent out emails to students, what exactly, uh, in these emails, what did the universities ask the students to prepare? So, okay, before we go into the usual analysis, first of all, I'm going to share a few of the screenshots that I received from some students, from some different social media platforms. So this first one is from Jiangsu University. I'm going to read it exactly the way it is. And if there are any analysis, we're going to do them together. And it says, dear students who are currently out of China and willing to come back, which means that if you're not willing, fine. This is the notice from OEC, that is the Overseas Education College of Jiangsu University. In the current policy, students might be able to return to China in the further and returning will be step by step and trial basis in this context we will have some notices to make and the first one says students who have qualified to return will be notified and can apply to OEC for further procedures students must clear all due fees before applying to return which means that if you're a student studying out of China and you've not been paying your fees you will not be qualified to return to China. It says flight tickets and quarantine charges will be safe paid by the students. Yeah, some students were asking, will the quarantine be free? Now you've heard, students will pay their flight charges and quarantine charges by themselves. Okay, now let's go to the third point. The third point says, as per the local preventive measures, international travelers must undergo 28 days centralized quarantine, followed by 28 Eight days single room isolation after arriving in China. Charges for quarantine is around 360 RMB per day. So you've heard it very clearly. You have 28 days central quarantine, and this 28 days will be 360 yuan per night. So you have to multiply that and know how much will your quarantine be for 28 days. The next point is due to the campus safety safety requirements all students of Jiangsu University will need to undergo 28 days self-isolation at a designated hotel and the cost is the same as above students must take at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine by the time of the application which means that before you apply you must have had at least one dose of vaccination and you've seen the number of days that you have to do for quarantine and how much one day cost. So the point number six says students who return to China without the university approval or without clearing the due fees will not be qualified to semester registration and will not get residence permit after arrival. So before you arrive, make sure that you've cleared your fees and the school has given the approval before you come. So if you use any backdoor means and come to China, you will not be registered and you will not be granted a residence permit. The point number seven says students who return to China will voluntarily obey the regulations of Jiangsu University. You've seen it very clearly. This is from Jiangsu University. Okay, so still in the same light, this is another email from Shanghai Jiao Tong University and it says, in order to help you return into school, please check the two attachments. One, that is the certificate of returning to school to notice of insurance purchase for international students for visa application please consult the embassy or the chinese embassy in your country 
After obtaining the visa, please send us the flight information and insurance information by replying to this email. The specific information to the feedback includes flight number, flight time, flight departure and arrival point, insurance start and end date, which means that Oh, okay, it continues to say, in order to welcome everyone returning to school, please keep in touch. You've seen it very clearly before you return to campus. Here they've not talked about fees or other things that Jiangsu University said, but here they've just made sure that you have your flight insurance and your flight ticket sent to them before you depart. Yeah, so one of the documents that you will receive before you return to school is what they call the certificate of returning to campus. And this is how the document looks like. It says certificate of returning to school, it's in English and in Chinese, to whom it may concern. This is to certify that, this is the sure that your name and your school ID, nationality, Pakistan, is a PhD student in the School of Electronics, Information and Electric Engineering of Shanghai Jiaotong University. Permit him to return to school to continue his studies. So the university will give you a document like this, like a certificate that is permitting you to return to school. I'm sure together with this and your flight ticket and maybe other information for new students, you will take this to the Chinese embassy in your country to apply for a visa that will permit you to return to China. Okay, now I've shared with you guys the information. Now let's do a few analysis. The first thing I would like to talk about is that not all students will return to China at the same time, which means that if you have not received an email, it doesn't mean you will not return to China. They've prioritized students who are doing practical courses maybe like a test or a trial maybe after this maybe they will start for students who don't have practicals that's the first thing the second thing a few universities have sent emails not all the universities have sent emails it doesn't mean that if your university haven't sent an email it means they are not monks like i said in china things are done step by step i said the same thing with the student support visa that once a few universities start this before you know it, it will be a nationwide thing. And a few months later, it became a nationwide thing. Now all students can work in China. Another thing that I would like to talk about is the different requirements that the different universities will ask for students to return to campus. All the universities will not give the same requirements. Some universities have asked for fees, some have asked for insurance and certificate of returning to campus and so on. Don't be surprised that other universities might ask for some other thing. They might ask to see your results. They might ask to see your attendance. If you've been attending online classes, they might ask for other things. So just be in touch with your university and make sure that you have continued, you have continuously uh, attend your classes and you have paid your fees and so on because you don't know what the university will ask at the tail end. And you've seen the cost of quarantine and so on. You've seen the number of days that quarantine will be so these are all things that you need to prepare, prepare your mind before the date of your departure. So guys, I'll continue to share with you guys any information that I get as far as this topic is concerned. Even if I don't do a complete video like this, I'm going to post them on my community timeline. I'm going to post them each time I have valuable information. It's not that each time I find the listing, I can post. Each time I find the listing, I can post. If I find information that I think is worth sharing, I'm going to post it on my community timeline. So if you're watching the video and you're not yet my subscriber, please do us a favor, hit that subscription button. Join us on the channel so that when we do videos like this, when I post things on my community timeline, we can talk about it, we can share our opinions, we can share our suggestions, and we can share our worries because once we share our worries, it reduces the anxiety. If you like the video, please don't leave without giving us a thumbs up, share it with someone, and please subscribe to join the channel. This is Business Connect. I will see you in our next video. Peace out and bye-bye.